Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Tadimus Prime, We're back with another Transformers review. <clears throat> Today, thanks to Patriot Prime and his ever so generous gift of this bad boy, mint and sealed package, um, that's how this video come to be. If it wasn't for his generosity um, and his donation to my collection, uh, we wouldn't be sitting here with this beautiful fucking figure today. Um, man, I'll tell you what. Uh, this is my first experience with the Titans Returns line. And if the rest of them are as good as this guy indicates... Oh, fuck. <clears throat> man, I can't wait to get my hands on some more of those. Um, we're going to start off today in base mode. Nobody does it, I know. I'm going to just because I want to get this out of the way because this is the one that I see most people giving him shit for. And I don't even really understand why. It's not a bad mode. I mean, is it a... Is it a... It's not a Metroplex. It's not... You know, I mean... it. It's a nice nod. To Generation 1. Um, it's no Fort Max. But it was never really meant to be. You know? And it doesn't detract from any of the other modes. So, I see it as a win-win. I mean, you can do it. And it pulls it off. And it pulls it off pretty well. I mean, it's it's pretty accurate to the G1. Um, I, I really don't see why people are giving it so much shit. It's really a decent mode. I had to lower my camera, so I'm chopping my fucking head off here. Sorry about that. I'm trying to fit all this shit into this. Alright. I mean, it's, it's not horrible by any means. I mean, Dreadnought can fit up there. Open the camera. Gun fits right there in the middle. Uh, I didn't open this, but that opens up. Put him in there or anybody else. It's got ports all over for these fucking heads. So you can put a bunch of shit, you know, all peg here, peg here, 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 and there, there, there. They're just fucking everywhere. <clears throat> Alright. So yeah, I mean it's it's a it's kind of like a gimme mood. You can do it if you want. If you don't, you don't have to. But like I said, it's not really a, a major factor. Next we're gonna move on. I'm gonna try and get this done as quick as possible. Ah, fuck, I need to shut up. I talk too much when I'm doing my videos. But, um, yeah, after this, I have to film my, uh, <laughs> Generation 1, start my Generation 1 Seacon reviews. Oh, I gotta get my head out of my ass and get shit done. This is what happens when you procrastinate, kids. Time catches up. I'm supposed to do the six days of Seacon's fish mess, and, well, we're not, we don't have that long. So, I'm going to, uh, you can open this up, the cockpit, uh, cockpit, and you can put that knot in there, and it does have landing gear in the front, and, uh, yeah. For some reason, I fumble fuck the hell out of this transformation. I don't know why. I just seem to get everything fucking ass backwards when I'm trying to transform it. It shouldn't be that difficult. It's really not. Come on, you dirty whore. This is what I mean. 
all fumble fucked around here. Yeah. Wow, that actually went together relatively easy compared to normal. Normally it's like a fucking Rubik's Cube. I don't know how I get it fucking legs rotated and trying to fucking put them, flip them backwards and shit. It's fucked up. Okay, now the one thing that I do have to point out <clears throat> on the tank mode. We all know if you own this figure, you know that the paint on the handle is too tight. Um, yeah, uh, when I first got this and transformed it, I fucked up and pushed that all the way in. I literally thought I was going to have to pry it out with a fucking screwdriver. It was that fucking tight. I was afraid I fucking ruined it. It was bad. So I think I'm going to take some rubbing alcohol and just, it's already starting to wear off a little bit, but just take the paint off the handle there a little bit gingerly, not to fuck up the rest of the paint job. And that'll fix that. It's a minor thing. So just for the video, I'm just going to put it down like that. But yeah, since we got this guy in hand, let's just start with this. The tank. It's a good looking tank. You got your Decepticon symbols here. You got the purple turret there. It'd be nice if the turret rotated, but it doesn't. Um, it doesn't have... It's just got the little plastic wheels right here, right there, and right there. The tracks don't move. If they gave it, you know, articulation and the, the, the uh, turret and everything and put some plastic tread on it, like I've seen on, I think it was Megatron. The Minor Wars, I think. I don't know. I don't have him. Um, not yet. But, I mean, I'm not asking for... You know, a masterpiece quality piece out of a later class. And that's just not going to happen. Um, it's a very good nod to the original G1. Um, I like it. I don't really have a problem that it doesn't have all the amenities, but... I don't know, I guess I'm... I don't know. It, there's just so much good shit about it. The robot mode is that's the shit where that that's where this piece. <clears throat> yeah, we'll get to that. Now we come to another one that I like. When I was a kid, my favorite jet was the SR seventy one Blackbird, and this you can't get much closer of a nod. To the SR-71. I mean, it's... it's a, There is so much likeness to it. Uh, the only difference is it's got these here. And a couple little wings here. You can't... The black doesn't really let you see any of the detail. Uh, which is... They didn't sticker the fuck out of him. Which is a plus. Because they would have just fucked it all up. What stickers they do have. Sorry, I keep going out of frame. I'm used to sitting upright and being able to actually see you. Um, yeah, like I was saying. Uh, what was I saying? <laughs> oh, the stickers, yeah. The ones that are on it are already starting to peel. And this is from Minimal Play. I don't know if I can really show right there yeah you can kind of see it yeah anyways take my word for it it's starting to peel there uh so they didn't sticker the fuck out of it um reaper labels they have labels for him and i'm heavily heavily hoping to get those uh because some of them look fucking amazing on him i don't know that i'd use all of them though um I kind of like the chest the way it is in Robot Moon. And speaking of, let's go ahead and jump into that because I have got to get this video done. I have got to do this and I got to start recording my Seacons. So, ugh. I 
should have done this a long time ago. But I didn't. So, I hope everyone's ready for the holidays. I'm not. But I hope everyone else is. <laughs> oh. Now, on the feet, in robot mode, I might as well show you while I'm here doing it. We all know that there's the two ways you can do the feet. You can do the flat foot, which I find to be a perfectly acceptable way of, of standing in. I mean, he's sturdy as shit. Uh, he's like a rock. The uh, other way is to pop it down a little bit and then do the high heel shit. It does give him some extra height. I will give it that. But... Hey, he looks like he's wearing high heel boots. Uh, not worth the height differential for me. Uh, it looks kind of... Looks like he's wearing stilettos. Uh, no. I'll go with the big, bulky, fucking Bigfoot look. It just... It works. It's super stable. You can get some really good poses out of him that way. But... Uh, yeah, this is the mood that just does it for me. Uh, it's wow, fucking awesome. He is a badass. Oh, I forgot to show you the little shuttle thing. I was pretty sure that's what this was. Why it came off the tip. The nose cone comes off. But it also makes it easy to take Dreadnought out. And I never did show off Dreadnought. I was actually impressed with the detail. Shit out of my way. Oh, I wish it would focus on other shit. Not me. Come on, you fucking bitch. You're not going to do it. You dirty whore. Come on. Come on. Focus, damn you. Anyhow, they, you can see there's paint on his face. You can't see the detail and shit. Sorry, I gotta get this figured out. Um, and then the head sculpt is really good for Overlord. The only problem I have with his eyes, I really like them. They just seem to be hidden. Oh, fuck. They're, they're just hidden too far back and up to the top of his head. You can't really see his eyes until you tilt it back just right. And the light kind of hits it. It's just... Yeah, you can barely see it. little bit there the color is really good in person it's just really dark and shadowed and it it really takes away from the face in my opinion uh i wish they would have done it a little different but it's not bad i mean i've seen worse <laughs> at least it's a it's good it just uh they could have tweaked on that a little bit i think And, okay, and there's this big bitch, and he is awesome. Really fucking dig this dude. It's kind of ironic that <laughs> the first time I recall ever seeing this figure was on Patriot Prime's videos and it ironically wound up being his first video that he did on youtube it was on this guy and then he sends me him. <laughs> i don't know it's just a coincidence i just thought it was kind of cool but uh yeah he does the mm, uh, i'm gonna say crazy debbie but mm, i could be very wrong um uh, 
I don't really keep up much on, on those things. Uh, for one, they seem to be quite pricey, some of them. But this guy, man, he's fucking huge. He is awesome. He is big. He is beefy. He's tall. And I don't have any of my other Transformers handy to do a size comparison. Oh, well, fuck. He's about yay tall. Um, he's about as tall as uh, Power of the Prime's Optimus and Rodimus. Maybe just cut hair taller. Maybe. But he's got really good articulation. I mean, it's fucking... He's all over the place, man. He can do whatever the fuck you want. And he holds his poses and shit really, really well. I mean, it's to the point to where sometimes you gotta kind of work at it to get the limbs in position and shit. But he can do some crazy cool poses and stuff. I mean, he's a fucking badass. That's all there is to it. Anybody that can fucking kick Minasaur in the nuts fucking four or five times before he fucking kills him, that's pretty badass. I was impressed. I don't care. A lot of people gave that fucking cartoon series a bunch of shit, but I, I kind of liked it and wish they'd have done more. Um, I was enjoying it. It was some of the best animation for Transformers I've seen in years. Uh, granted, I haven't watched any of the Prime War, or the Prime, what's it, Transformers Prime? And then, uh, I haven't watched any of the newer shit, so, you know, I've heard it's good. But yeah, th there's one issue I have with this guy so far, and I've seen it's a common problem. It's that his arm will not stay up. I mean, there is, it's loosey-goosey. There is nothing holding that fucker up. I can't even get it to wedge itself to stay up. So it's a minor fix. I'm not going to complain too much because really that's about it. <laughs> I mean, if that's all that's wrong with the piece, I can tighten that up. That's no big deal. Other than the handle on the gun, which that's no big deal. I mean, I can, I can fix that. That, 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 that doesn't bother me. It doesn't, the only time it really interferes with the piece is when he's in his alt mode, the uh, jet. I meant to show you guys that the arm falls down. But I figured I'd just show you in robot mode because he's standing up and gravity is pretty much doing it for me. So yeah, I mean, especially with the gun in his hand. Now you can put the shield on his arm. Mm, like I said, I didn't have any... I don't remember the G1, to be honest. Um, never seen him. Nobody I knew had him. He wasn't released in the States. So, I seen him on TV on the, the Titans Returns, and he didn't have that. And you can plug it into the back of him. And I noticed, you can see it hanging down between his legs. He's got tail. If you take the shuttle off, it disappears. But you're stuck with this piece that has nowhere to go. So it's six of one, half a dozen of another. Uh, do what you want. Cheers. I kind of like it on the back myself. I like having the open shoulder blades and shit, the shoulders and chest and everything. He just, he just, he's big and bulky. He doesn't really need a shield. But yeah, if if you don't have this guy in your collection, I highly suggest getting him. Be warned though, the arms. Watch out for this one. It'll get you. Um, another cool little gimmick. Like, 
flashes back to the G1. It's got the ports. And you can put the heads of other Titan Returns figures in there, which I think is fucking amazing. Could you imagine a fucking Rodimus Prime and a fucking Optimus Prime head in his chest, walking around like a fucking headhunter? Come on. I'm sorry, that's not... I mean, yeah, it's cheesy. It's cheesy, but it's fucking awesome cheese. So, I just love this figure. He is fucking amazing. He is by far the best Decepticon that I think I have. Um, well, I got some other ones I really like, too. He's the... He's definitely the fucking... Uh, yeah, he's a badass. <laughs> Uh, yeah, he's just, he's a tough son of a bitch. So, yeah, I highly suggest you guys pick him up. He's, he's an amazing figure. I am so fucking glad I got him. I thank you so much, Patriot Prime. Hoo-ah! Um, uh, for hooking me up with this amazing figure. He is just so much fun. I didn't show you guys the connecting when they're in tank and jet mode because it doesn't hold. It, you can do it. Like you did the old G1. But it doesn't connect on the top. It connects on the sides. It just it doesn't work. He uses chest panels. Right here. It's got the little lips. And it clips into the back of the tank. The other sides of the turrets. I'm sorry. It, it doesn't work though. So I'm not even going to waste my time. Any worth it. Alright guys. Well. This has been Tatamus Prime. With uh, Titans Returns Overlord. Yeah, if you ain't got him, get him. If you got him, enjoy him. He's fucking badass. Definitely. Definite highlight in my collection. Big time. He is fucking awesome. I definitely want to sticker, sticker him up. And if I do, I might just throw up a quick video showing you guys what he looks like stickered up. I don't know. If you want me to, you can let me know. If not, whatever. Um, like I said, I don't know if I'm going to get him or not, but... Some of them sets, uh, I should have got all that shit back when it was like half off, but when you ain't got no money to spend on it, it might as well be a million dollars, even if it's a buck. All right, guys. <clears throat> Tenemus Prime. Uh, yeah, I'm going to be wearing the same fucking shirt next video because I am just recording right after this. I'm starting into my Seacons. I've done pull off. I was supposed to do it in six days. Now I'm down to left with five. So I got to cram two into one video while cramming the Piranicons together plus doing yeah yeah I gotta do some mashing together no biggie no biggie alright guys thanks for watching hope you enjoyed hope you have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year Happy Hanukkah blah 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 just have a good one. Till next time. Rock the fuck on.